are Larissa and Eric over? Plus, Paula and Ashley are still feuding while Paul and Karini get a visit from Child Protective Services. The shocking details ahead on 90 Day Fiance News Daily. Happy Monday, I'm Christy, taking a short break from my social media super sleuthing to tell you what I found. Here's who was dropping clues about their real reality TV lives over the weekend. Larissa's message seemed loud and clear Sunday when she hid every trace of Eric from her Insta feed. Fans also claim the couple briefly unfollowed each other. <gasps> we all know what that means, right? There wasn't much time to speculate as some of Larissa's cozy shots with Eric popped back up but most of Larissa's feed has disappeared, including every post since before she met Eric. It's possible that after last week's admission she's being treated for depression and anxiety, Larissa just wanted a fresh start online. But remember, the show is paying for her treatment, and the far more likely explanation is that Larissa and Eric will appear on an upcoming season. A source confirmed to Soap Dirt that after making a huge splash on last season's Happily Ever After Tell All, the couple of six months are in talks to sign on for the next season of the spinoff. I guess they're not close enough to heading down the aisle to do before the 90 days. When asked about all of this, Larissa gave the obligatory denial, but added, never say never. That's just how I picture she would say it, but in reality TV terms, that means it's happening tomorrow. I'll keep you posted. Yes, it's been months since that happily ever after tell-all when we met Eric and when Paula went hard at Ashley and there's still fallout. Paula's words seemed a little harsh as Ashley sat crying over she and Jay's demise, but the sassy Brazilian mama defended herself, declaring that the producers just always make her look bad. Not so fast. Ashley finally responded over the weekend, shooting down Powell's claims that editing was to blame. That had zero part in it, Ashley says, while answering a fan on stories. She sure did laugh about my divorce, Ashley explained, adding, not sure why she felt the need to tear me down. Touche. Whose side are you guys on? The side of just keeping this feud fueled because it's juicy? Me too. With all that drama still going strong, I can't imagine what will go down at the next couple's tell-all. Or can we? Today there were tons of alleged leaks released about the upcoming The Other Way tell-all. All those reports are unconfirmed, but when combined with court documents that just surfaced, it looks like something sad is definitely going down with Paul and Karini. Soap Dirt obtained these documents from Child Protective Services in Louisville, where the couple now lives with their infant son, Pierre. Paul and Karini were investigated for suspected child abuse or neglect after fans of the show allegedly bombarded local police with concerned calls on July 25th. The alleged evidence was a social media video showing a distraught Karini trying to pack for the tell-all. She and Paul's demeanor in the video, the condition of their home, and another alleged video of baby Pierre touching hair extensions were reportedly among fans' concerns. The result? The allegations were found to be unsubstantiated as CPS cleared Paul and Karini of any wrongdoing. But Karini was reportedly still so distraught when the family arrived in NYC to do the tell-all that Soap Dirt says she wasn't allowed to film. Their source claims TLC had a psychiatrist on set who Karini met with to discuss her postpartum mental health. Karini allegedly did try to force her way on air at one point and was held back by producers. Dang, if that's true, the other way tell-all is shaping up to be the most explosive ever. But I do want to reiterate that we know for sure Paul and Creaney were completely cleared of those CPS charges. The cast's mental health is becoming a hot topic of 90 Day, and it's an important one. Leave your thoughts below, and join Linda and I Wednesdays live at 4 p.m. Pacific for a longer discussion. Until then, I'll be back tomorrow with more 90 Day Fiancé News Daily. See you then!